Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, my name is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquay of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College, bringing to you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Today, I like to term what we're going to treat as shine your eyes. That means look, that means investigate, that means examine, and that means be discerning. And uh, for me, that's a very powerful thing the person was saying, shine your eyes. In Genesis 29, Verse 25, there's a powerful story of a young man called Jacob who was brutally in love, brutally, brutally in love. So much in love, he went to the house of uh, Laban and then he met Rachel, Laban's beautiful daughter, but she was a second girl, if you remember. And she had an elder sister called Leah. And Leah, the um, Bible says, was cross-eyed. But that means there was an eye defect. I mean, some people have eye defects. I do have one too. The Bible said, Jacob's love was for Rachel and so he served for seven years and after he had served for seven years and then they did the wedding and everything then in the night instead of Rachel Leah was given by Laban Laban double crossed uh, Jacob and gave him Leah and the Bible says it was in the night. So when he woke up in the morning, he, he was alarmed. And his, he, he shouted, ah, what is this? You understand? The whole thing, as somebody said, he married in the night. Or he decided to interact, you get it, with somebody in the night. He didn't know that person. Now, guess what? This is what happened. Sometimes we are not investigative enough. Sometimes we don't look before we leap. Sometimes we just jump into it, especially with relationships. And when I talk about relationships, not necessarily marriage, but partnerships and all those things. You don't examine those people. There are people who are not really what they say they are. And I can tell you this, many times before people get married, many, majority of people are actors. They can easily win Oscar awards. It is when you get married that you say, hey, what kind of monster is this? We never took time to investigate. We never took time to examine. We never took time to look well before we took the leap. Now, the principle is very simple. Look before you leap. Examine. Now, it, it's, it's always very, very important that there are things about the person. Study the person. Know the person very well. Know what makes the person angry. Visit the person's home. I mean, see the situation. Examine them. You get it? You're going to get married to a girl? Go to her home. Find out how she If she insults her mother and her father, she will insult you. Because then she doesn't respect authority figures in her life. Jacob married in the night only to find out that the person he got married to was a different person. Can I tell you something? Going to church doesn't give us a definition. No. That, is not what, that is not our character. Our char true characters are outside church. Church, we all dress up nicely. You get it? This morning they put powder on my face. I don't like powder on my face but they've decorated me to look nice. But maybe in the night when the mask is off, then you realize that, hey, I have four mountains and reef valleys. You know, examine what you are getting before you jump into it. Look before you leap. Shine your eyes. That is something we all need to do. Before we get into relationships, either in business or marriage or whatever, Examine, investigate the people before you team up with them. Shine your eyes. See you next time.